Don't give the Lord your table scrubs. Don't just try, try to fit him in here and there, squeeze him in, give him a little bit of time. No. The Lord deserves the best of the best of the best. <clears throat> the best of your talents, the best of your time, the best of your efforts. He deserves you in entirety. Do you belong to him? Have you given yourself to him? Time will tell. I'm thinking of people, and I don't want to be thinking of specific people when I when I when I'm making a video because I I end up taking it down because um, it sounds gets too judgmental and critical and negative, and that's not what this is about. You know, I'm I'm in no position to judge anyone. That's why I always feel better when I'm just talking about myself and my experience. But I can't afford to give him less than everything if I'm going to make it. Because when I stop doing that, when I start getting interested in things that are nothing really to do with him, I start to slowly slide backwards. Really, I do. And that I don't start to see as clearly as I used to. It's only when I'm completely focused on him that he shows me these amazing, these amazing things. Like I've even been able to share in videos like this, you know. Everything comes together. One, two, three, four. He lays it all out in front of me. But when I start to slide back, you start to get interested, too interested in people, or things or entertainment, or anything of the world, the blinders come on. And I just start to squirm because I know I'm in the wrong place. And I go running back to him. All I'm saying in this video is we choose every day to be with our families, or to be with him, to be with friends, or to be with him, to spend time doing hobbies or whatever we find entertaining, or to be with him. And I'm going to bring it up probably in video after video because it's the most important thing now. If he's not the center of your world, then your world is askew. It's off balance. And you're not going to make it through this storm. If you're more interested in research, if you're more interested in all the sensational news, not that that doesn't have a place. Some of the stuff that's happening now, we have to be aware of. I'm not saying that. But is he central to your life, to everything you do? Does it revolve around him? Or are you revolving around all these other things? Okay, so it's just so black and white. We're not going to make it. None of us are going to make it if he's not central. Especially as the storm increases daily. And the time goes quicker daily. Don't be attached to people. Don't be attached... To brick and mortar churches where they're teaching false things and lying to you about this, separate from all that. Seek the truth. Always seek the truth. Ask to be shown the truth. And he will show you. Oh my goodness, what he showed me today was amazing. And I shared it with you. Because it it, it seems very simple, but most people would go, What is that all about? That doesn't that's crazy. Because it's spiritual, see. It's absolutely spiritual, and people want to hear things in carnal terms. No. No, no, no. I won't give it to you that way. I'm going to give you the truth. Get out of this crazy world. Get away. Okay, once you have a little bit of news, don't just be on edge waiting for it to happen. No, it's just the opposite. Get away from it. Go into prayer. Draw near to him so that you can get through it. If it happens or doesn't happen, but this all this you know anticipation of things to come, it's up to you. But I've chosen to be with him. <laughs>